empathy that's heartbreaking and difficult to accept. Even though I went to the front row and I seen her gone, but my child right here. Back in December, Patricia Bouncy says her daughter, Nikita Washington, went to Harper University Hospital to have this bundle of joy, Nathaniel, her 12th child. But only Nathaniel came home. And I said, Lord Jesus, you ain't calling to tell me what you think. I think you telling me. She said, yes, mama, Nikita is gone. Nikita died at just 35 years old. Several of her children, who you see here, are so young, but already no pain. They taking their heart. They have good days and they have bad days. And now the entire family is searching for answers as they wait for the results from an autopsy. If she died naturally, I want to know. If one of them doctors did something, I want to know that too. Fox 2 reached out to Detroit Medical Center and we were sent this statement offering condolences, but telling us that due to patient privacy laws, they can't discuss this case. I'm hurt. I'm confused. But this grandmother says she must fight to keep Nikita's children together, the oldest being 19 to the youngest Nathaniel, who was barely two months old. I already thought about it and I will fight to keep them together and keep them with me. And that means this family needs help. I have all 12 of our kids right now, so I got to get a bigger house because my house too small. The family is not only in need of a new place to call home, they also need a new vehicle. This family vehicle was involved in an accident and it's barely drivable. A GoFundMe account has been started on behalf of the family to help them get a new start. To learn how you can donate, go to fox2detroit.com. Whatever God sits on your heart to do, because we appreciate everything. But for now, this grandmother just wants Nikita's children to know just how much their mother loved them. I tell them every day, your mother is right here. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.